It's another high quality foodie feature for you with Ian e Kay here on Peep This Out Reviews. This time headed into good old KFC because it looks like they've finally gone beyond. That's right, Beyond Fried Chicken has finally landed here in Southern Cali. So stay tuned because it's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian e Kay. Stay frosty. Actually, not the combo, but uh, peep this out. Can I just go for a 12 piece uh, order of the Beyond Fried Chicken by itself? Uh, 12, uh, how many pieces? 12 pieces, the uh, a la carte. 12 pieces, okay. And uh, if I can get a finger licking good sauce and ranch to go with that, just both of them, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Great, thank you much. Now I've tried just about every version of fast food Beyond Meat that there is right now, mostly from Carl's Jr. So I'm excited to see what the Colonel can bring to the table. Hello. Uh, Yes, thank and, you so much. And the sauce, what would you like? Uh, finger licking good sauce and ranch, please. I can do all sauces, okay? Oh, beautiful. So Thanks so much. Them. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay frosty. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. We'll see you. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Let's beat this out. So let's go in on it. It's Beyond Fried Chicken here at KFC. And right off the bat, guys, there is lots of fried goodness wafting up in the car here right now. This is definitely smelling pretty decent. What you're looking at is 12 pieces of Beyond Meat that's formed into chicken nuggets and then deep fried to a crispy golden brown. Of course, it's going to feature the 11 herbs and spices that KFC is known for. But I got to admit, it smells pretty authentic. Let me lift one of these up here so you guys can take a closer look at this. Take a look at that. Nicely fried, nicely golden. Nicely crispy looking absolutely right there. And it's got some heft to it. These actually feel pretty heavy. 12 piece order is what you're looking at here as well for dipping. We've got some finger licking good sauce and some ranch. We're gonna see how that flavor is gonna go with that Beyond Meat on the inside. But so far, I'm digging the presentation. I'm digging that aroma. And uh, these are halfway decent looking. And for the price, considering the premium, it is fairly decent in terms of what you're looking at here, at least in my opinion. Let's give this one a go and see if the flavor is gonna deliver. It's Beyond Fried Chicken here at KFC. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, definitely some nice crispy fried goodness to go with the nice heftiness of this box here right now, guys. This is actually looking really, really solid. So before I take the first bite of this one again, let me give you another close up here. As you can see, nice and crispy, nice and golden. You can really see the seasonings pretty nicely on that as well. It really is fried up pretty perfectly in my opinion so far. So let's not waste any more time, but real quick and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, here we go, Beyond Meat and KFC together. It's Beyond Fried Chicken. Please be good because it smells pretty good. It's definitely got the texture of chicken, believe it or not. Mmm, that's different. And what I mean by different is it appears to have a little bit more pull or chew to it compared to regular chicken, but the appearance of it, take a look at that on the inside, guys. That actually looks really, really good. Almost like white meat chicken, and you can almost see the individual strands and the fibers in there as well. And of course, the crispiness on the outside as well of the coating. The seasoning, it really just tastes more fried. I'm not really getting anything above and beyond the regular KFC chicken, but this is really a nice fake version, if I can call it that, and it really is kind of fitting the mold of what I think this type of chicken should be like with the KFC goodness, minus a little bit of the 11 herbs and spices. And I'm saying that because I'm not really getting any real crazy flavor to let me know that it's KFC, believe it or not. It just feels like a very heavily fried nugget, but I'm feeling like it's chicken. That's the thing, it's playing with my head right now. Let's go for another bite. Let's just keep going with it. I like it though, it's good. It's got that pull. I like it though. It's crazy to think that there is no meat in this whatsoever, but if you look at this, it looks like it actually is white meat chicken and a decent amount of it too, guys. Take a look at that. It's not super juicy, but it does have that flavor that's reminiscent of chicken. It's really kind of hard to explain, but I'm getting a lot more of the fried goodness of the coating on the outside than anything else. But I'm really digging the presentation and it really is playing with my head right now in terms of me having a chicken nugget that's actually plant-based. Yeah, it's definitely different, but believe it or not, this is actually working better for me in this form compared to regular Beyond Meat. I mean, naturally, I love the beef patties. I love the other versions that they have, like the regular hamburger style. But this seems to lend itself a little bit more credibly, in my opinion, to actual chicken because the appearance looks really, really awesome. And the overall feeling and mouthfeel that I'm getting, actually, while I'm eating this, along with the crispiness of the outer coating, is really spot on. So I'm digging it. Mmm. Yeah, that's really, really good. I mean, it feels like a very, very tasty chicken nugget, but with KFC's namesake that's on it there naturally. So speaking of KFC's namesake, let's go for a little finger licking good sauce with this right now and see if this is actually going to do anything overall. Naturally, with this type of sauce anyway, I think it's going to be good with all the fried goodness on the outer coatings of these. But let's just give it a shot for you real fast. And as you can see, 
Lots of that tasty goodness there. This almost feels like a kicked up Thousand Island type dressing, but I have to see how it's gonna go with this Beyond Meat. So let's give it a shot. Mmm, that's good. That's good. That semi Thousand Island type of flavor that I'm getting from the finger licking good sauce on top of the fried coating on the outside of the Beyond Fried Chicken goes amazingly well anyway. And then you get into the nice give and the pull of the actual Beyond Meat itself on the inside. And again, guys, feast your eyes on just how that looks. I really like the fact that it looks like actual chicken. That is just really, really cool. Just the appearance of it alone is selling this one on top of everything else on the outside. But again, those 11 herbs and spices are probably in here for sure because that's the main thing for KFC, but I'm not really getting anything above and beyond a really tasty fried outer coating. But again, with that finger licking good sauce, this is actually really good. Mm. Okay, and since most of you guys who watch my channel know I'm a huge fan of ranch, I absolutely had to go for that as well. So I definitely wanna give this a shot at least one time with that goodness to see exactly how this is gonna go with Beyond Meat. Really, really good in terms of just the overall appearance and everything with this, guys. I am really digging this because of what it is. It's really, really fun to eat like this. And with ranch, let's see how that's gonna work here. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, I like this better with ranch. So much better with ranch. That tangy tartness of the ranch anyway, along with anything fried is gonna be amazing. And again, the quality of the Beyond Meat on the inside, and I gotta keep showing this to you because I am really blown away by the appearance of it. It's really selling this one here, guys. It really is a nice alternative to what they offer here at KFC. And I gotta admit, aside from the premium price that this is, I kinda feel like I'm getting what I'm paying for, believe it or not, because the quality is pretty high on what this is. I only wish that the seasoning was just a little bit more pronounced like regular KFC, if I can call it that. But for what this is, pretty tasty. Let me go for one more bite of this one. Maybe we'll knock this one out real quick. And I'm gonna try and split one for you as we finish this one up here. So after the rating, of course, we'll wrap it. Let's just finish it out. Okay, so let's see if we can just break one of these really quick just to give you an idea if this actually looks like chicken. And guys, take a look at that. As it's being ripped apart, it absolutely does. This really feels like white meat chicken big time. Not super juicy, but look at the quality of what you're getting here. This is looking like the part. It really smells like the part. And it's actually kind of tasting like the part, believe it or not, as well. I am really digging this, guys. It's just a lot of fun, and I really hope this goes national. It should at this point because it really looks fantastic, and it's pretty solid in terms of flavor. Plant-based fried chicken. KFC, it's finger-licking magic. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the Beyond Fried Chicken here at KFC a pretty solid 8.8 out of 10. If only if it was just a little bit more KFC-like in terms of flavor. That's really the only thing. Those 11 herbs and spices, that distinct flavor that KFC had is just a little muted with this version. But at least the quality of that fried coating is amazing. It's crispy, it's golden, it's made pretty well. And the inside of the Beyond Meat itself is pretty rock solid. Just pulling it apart, you can see it looks and appears like actual chicken. So guys, it's great to have a protein alternative. This is a solid one. I really hope this one goes national. It is something I would get again. And honestly, I'm probably going to while it's here in Southern Cali. Pretty tasty. Okay, now the obvious question, are you gonna be giving this one a shot when it goes national? And if you've got it available to you right now in places where it is available, what do you personally think of it? Drop some comments down below. Are you a fan of Beyond Meat in general? And how do you think this actually compares to overall chicken? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All right, KFC, definitely get these out nationwide ASAP, but when you do, make sure you've got a Beyond Crispy Kernel to go with because the writing's on the wall, easily. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.